The British team enjoyed their best ever world championships last summer in Kazan, where they won four medals. So there are high expectations heading towards those Rio 2016 games. And the event here in South End this weekend, the National Cup, marks the start of the all-important Olympic season. And we've already had the first medalist, Georgia Ward and Emily Boyd, taking the gold medal with the two-time Olympian Tonya Couch and teenager Lois Toulson in second. That was a new pairing with teenager Toulson replacing Sarah Barrow, who has struggled with chronic shin injuries. Couch and Toulson were expected to head to Rio next month for the final Olympic qualifying event, but this result will make selection more than a little interesting. It means so much. It was my first national title and I know how much it means for Emily as well after um, moving countries and that. So we've both worked really hard and I think, yeah, we just wanted to show how hard we've been working. So we've only just started like for the, since the beginning of the season really, um, which is like for when like it became more serious for me to compete as well. So it's, it's not been that long, but yeah, we do train together all the time and we're always at each other's houses and we <laughs> can't get enough of each other. <laughs> It's mad not diving with Sarah because obviously she's one of my best friends and it's, it's crazy but Lois is a lovely girl and we got on really well and um, I think we've got a lot more to give, especially like our first two dives, we just need a bit more practice on that and um, when we get our individual dives down I think we've come a long way. I guess uh, Rio's a big thing obviously in the summer but before then there's Rio again, the, the World Cup next month, this, this could be a pair that goes forward, I guess we'll, we'll wait and see. Yeah hopefully, um, like I said before we've got a lot to give, that was our first time so another month to train and we've got to see what Lexi says really yeah, yeah, absolutely. And yeah for you what would it mean to be able to go out to the to the World Cup in Rio next month and, and challenge for an Olympic place alongside Tonya yeah it'd be amazing it, it'd be like the biggest competition I'd have been to as well so it'd be great to die with Tonya in a competition like that Freddie Woodward took the one metre crown an impressive return to form for the Commonwealth bronze medal winning diver who missed much of last season through injury Last year, competition-wise, was hard. You know, I didn't do too many events, as I say, due to injury. And also, as well, it's been a really long off-season, and you know, little niggles, bits of injuries, bits of illness. You know, the British weather. It's been quite tough. I had to really battle through that. But already, I feel like I've got you know quite a strong reward, which which is a, which is a marvelous feeling. So I'm really pleased with that. I feel like I'm in the physical shape of my life, which is important. As ever, Tom Daly will headline here at a British diving competition. The Olympic bronze medalist is in action on Sunday in the individual 10-metre platform competition, but interestingly also on Saturday in the synchronised event alongside Dan Goodfellow. He'd originally said he wouldn't compete in that unless he thought he had a realistic chance of challenging for a medal come the Rio Olympics. So it will be fascinating to see how they get on. You'll be able to find out with some highlights on the BBC Sport website over the weekend.